Okay, in this video, we are going to first consider the arc on the curve x equals negative y squared plus 4y, and we'll focus in the first quadrant, and we will find the arc length, surface area, and surface area, depending on how we rotate the arc. First question, how does the graph of this look like? Yes, it's just a parabola, right? And open to the left, because you have x being a function of y, and we have negative 1 as the coefficient of y squared. So we know the graph looks like this. Well, we need to have some specific values, and this is a quick way to do it. Perhaps I can let x equal to 0, right? And I will solve for y from here. We get negative y squared plus 4y. And this is not that bad at all, because we can factor out a y or negative y up to you, and we get negative y plus 4. And this will tell us that when x is 0, let me just write that down for you guys. Y will be 0 or Y will be positive 4. So that's the idea. And now we can have a real nice graph. First point, when X is 0, Y is also 0. So congratulations, it's right here. Next, when X is 0, Y is 4. So it will be up here when Y is 4. Again, this right here, open to the left. And I will just put it like this. Right? And the truth is, I don't really need to worry about the x values you will see. So let me just make this better for you guys. Anyway, that's how you graph it. And because we just want the first quadrant, we just want to look at this portion of the graph. So it's this arc right here. So here we go. Let's find the arc length first. Well, well, again, there are two versions. This time, we will have to use this version because we have given x as a function of y. So use this version for it. So let's go ahead and put on the integral sign, add up all the little dl's, right? And we have the integral of the square root of 1 plus parentheses. OK, I need a dx dy now. Well. Let me write it down right here for you guys. We know x is equal to negative y squared plus 4y. dx dy is just look at this equation and do your usual derivative. But you treat this as your dependent variable now and y as your independent variable. And just go ahead and do it the usual way. You get negative 2y plus 4. Okay? And you put this right here inside. Negative 2y plus 4. And don't forget the little square right here. And in this case, we are in the y world. So put down the dy here. And because we are in the y world, we have to look for the y values going from where to where. Well, we did it. Starting from here up to here, from 0 to 4. So that's nice. And we are done. And just like the last video, Go ahead, use your TIT, your TIT4, compute it, and leave a comment down below, and you can be the hero. People will like your comments, and you feel proud of yourself, right? So do that. OK, next, we'll talk about the surface area. And now here's the deal. We'll take this arc and rotate about the x-axis. And yes, you will see that there's like one little part is missing. But the deal is that we look for the surface area. So it's like this, this kind of shape. And then this is the surface area, you have the outer part, and then you also have the inner part, right? But anyway, for the surface area, first we have to look at the ds. Formula is 2 pi r times dl. r is the radius. Well, if you have a point right here, for example, the radius is just going to be the y value because it's vertical. This right here is the y value because you are rotating about the x-axis. So it's go like this. Take this and then rotate, you get the whole thing. So for when you rotate about the x-axis, the radius is y. And we just put that down. Integral 2 pi y. And let me also write down the dl for you guys. But in blue though, right? Hopefully, let's see if I can hold three markers in one hand, like that. Now, here's the deal. Integral is still integral. 2 pi is still 2 pi. Let's put down the dl first. DL is from part A, of course, right? It's the same thing. Then we just put that down as how it is. We put down the square root 
of 1 plus parentheses negative 2y plus 4 and we square that and we are in the y world so be sure you put down the dy for it let me just write this down better for you guys negative 2y plus 4 now because we are in the y world this y is totally okay to be right here so you just go ahead and put down that y as how it is and you are going to pay attention to the y values which is going from 0 to 4 with that we are done this right here will get you the surface area when you take the arc rotate about the x-axis right so again let us know what the answer is okay part c when we take this arc rotate about the y-axis so it goes like this way in this case the radius will be the horizontal distance just put like a point right here if you would like go from the y-axis to here this is the horizontal distance that's the x value and when you rotate you know that will be the radius so let's do the same thing integral 2 pi but this time is x right 2 pi x and we have to have the dl again and we'll see that so far we cannot finish the integral yet right? we cannot put down the limits of integrations because dl doesn't really make that much sense i don't know which world i'm in yet right all right put down the integral 2 pi is 2 pi of course dl again it's this so we'll just write that down right here let me just put it down here square root of 1 plus parentheses negative 2y plus 4 square and we have the dy here now here's the deal x it's not invited in the y world but it's okay because we know x and y are best friends because x is equal to this so i will just put this down for the x we must make that change right don't forget about that so i'll open the parentheses and write down negative y squared plus 4y and seriously take some time to use your calculator make sure you know how to enter everything carefully and accurately and get your approximation and all that in the end the final touch is y again goes from 0 to 4 and i'll wait for you guys to tell me the answer i don't know if you guys can see but i'm waiting for your approximation anyway this right here is it hopefully with this video you can, can see how to set up the integrals for the art lengths and also the surface area and also depending on the situation all that stuff all right so that's it if you are new to my channel be sure to subscribe thank you guys so much